Hello again and welcome to Golden Moments. I'm Bruce Howard. Here's a trivia question for you. Who holds the all-time University of Tulsa football record for passing yards in a game? And you start thinking to yourself, well, Dane Evans or Paul Smith, uh, G.J. Kinney perhaps. No, no, and no. All right, maybe T.J. Rubley. No. Gus Farratt? No. Keep going. Okay, go back in history. Maybe it's Jerry Rome, you know, in the mid-60s. Or Glenn Dobbs. No and no. The, the answer is Billy Guy Anderson, who had that spectacular year in 1965, and he set that record in the final game of the 1965 regular season. And on Golden Moments, we take a look at a historic Billy Guy Anderson's 502. At the end of the 1965 season, the Golden Hurricane was close to completing the most astounding two years of passing football the collegiate game had ever known. After shattering numerous records in the historic 1964 season, TU's passing game was even more dynamic in 1965. After averaging an astonishing 318 yards a game through the air in 64, the Hurricane upped that to 346 per game in 1965, an amazing feat considering the way football was played in the collegiate ranks in the mid-60s. It was all thanks largely to that great receiving core led by Howard Twilley and Neil Sweeney, but also the right arm of Billy Guy Anderson, who had one magical year for TU, over 3,400 yards, a new NCAA record. And to cap off a brilliant regular season, Billy Guy had a day for the ages against Colorado State at Skelly Stadium. Billy Guy went crazy. One of the things that I remember is Colorado State was going to stop me. And they had a number of guys, I think they had three guys on me at one time, and Neil Sweeney caught, I don't remember how many touchdown passes, he caught at least two, two touchdown passes in the first half. That was a great game for Neil Sweeney. He beat them deep about three times for big yardage, but he was a, that was a really a wide open game. And once Colorado State paid some attention to Neil Sweeney, Twilly started catching passes as Billy Guy found the man who was open, all part of Coach Glenn Dobbs' philosophy. Uh, coach Dobbs was uh, a very good coach for the passing game and developed the passing game basically for college football. And so Billy Guy just fell right in uh, to the mold Coach Dobbs wanted. He was pretty tall, he could, and he was a pocket passer. He wasn't going to scramble. Billy Guy, he uh, spots the weak, weakness of the defense. If the weakness is to my side and I'm open, he's going to throw the ball to me. If not, he's going to throw the ball to Neil Sweeney. And Billy had the, the maturity. He was like 25, and he had played the year before as a backup. So, and he had a good arm. He had a quick delivery. Despite all of that success, it was still a 21-20 ball game against Colorado State going into the fourth quarter, but Anderson kept his poise. He was cool, under pressure. Uh, no matter how the game was going and, or how it went in practice, how sticky, how hot it was, or in the game, the pressure, his expression, his look, it, nothing ever changed. He was just confident. Anderson threw four TD passes in the fourth quarter to seal the deal. And when it was all over, it was 37 of 57 for Billy Guy for 502 yards, a new TU record, and a new NCAA record. That Golden Hurricane record has not since been broken. Remarkable when you think of the great TU quarterbacks that followed. Twilly ended his Skelly Stadium career with 19 catches, a new NCAA single game record, for 214 yards and two scores. Sweeney had nine receptions for 161 yards and two TDs. In fact, it was difficult to keep track of all the national records the Hurricane was setting that day or even that season. But for Billy Guy Anderson, he shrugged it off and really had a sole purpose. And just win the games. If the records come, that's all right. And if they don't, we'll just so we win. That's all we're interested in. That game polished off an 8-2 regular season record for the Hurricane, sullied only by a three-point loss to OSU and an eight-point decision to number five Arkansas. Even though the mud and the rain dampened TU's effort against Tennessee in the Blue Bonnet Bowl, that final regular season game and TU record effort by Billy Guy Anderson was a golden moment indeed.